Hi, and welcome back to Bean Talk. Today, we want to talk a little bit about home espresso machines. So in the past, we already talked about how you can brew a perfect filter at home, and also, for example, what extraction means on an espresso machine, but we haven't actually talked about how you can brew a perfect espresso at home. And so, I want to start off this little mini-series about home espresso machines, with just the basics of what you should have at home like really the must-haves. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff that is kind of nice to have, but only the must-haves. So let's go. So let's start off with the given one with the espresso machine. If you want to make an espresso at home, you're going to need an espresso machine. But, so we got the extreme honor or pleasure to work with the new Faima Faimina today. Um, thanks to the people from Faima and we can try this out. I mean, of course, there are other options out there and you don't have to start off with a 5,000 euro um, espresso machine. Um, the big question for you is probably going to be, if, you, if this is your first espresso machine, do you drink coffee with milk or without milk? Um, if you never drink milk, you might be fine with a single circuit machine, but as soon as you want to steam milk as well, I'd go with a dual circuit or multi-boiler uh, machine. Like this one is, this has two boilers, meaning I have one boiler for the steam and one boiler here in the group for brewing the espresso. Okay, so... <laughs> so, okay, so we have our grinder, we have our machine, and now we just want to brew an espresso. So, of course, you can trial and error, you can set your grinder, um, just with trying it out with your espresso machine and trying the coffee, um, but for at home, Many people might be like me and just get like small bags of coffee. And so, like this one for example, and you don't wanna use like half a kilo just for setting a grinder. You want to be more efficient. And to help you be more efficient, I definitely recommend getting a scale like this one. Um, also here with everything, there are different price options out there. This is a really nice one called Akaya. And so it helps with dosing the coffee you put into your portafilter. So, for example, if you have a standard recipe like me, I usually start off with 18 grams in the portafilter. So, let's do this right now. So if you're not sure whether it's really 18 grams or many cheaper grinders don't give you the option to um, program the dosing. So this just makes everything so much easier. So let's brew a double espresso. And also while brewing, this is something you're going to need. In order to make a good espresso, um, you need to have a certain kind of pressure, nine bars of pressure. And so if the coffee bed wouldn't be dense enough, um, you wouldn't have like the perfect back pressure, so to say. So you need to kind of compress it with a so-called temper. Most espresso machines actually come with it. Um, you don't have to buy it. And also here, you can of course get like this super expensive, nice one. I think there's one from Hauk for a thousand euros with like a carbon fiber top and everything. But to be honest, you don't need it. It's just a nice thing to have. So yeah, let's have an espresso. 
Also one that might not be so obvious, but is really a super nice thing to have are just proper Bristol cloths. So like this one, they're a microfiber and they're just going to get your porta filter super clean and you don't have any excess dirt from your last coffee in there. And so every espresso should taste the same and you don't have any dirt in there. And also for your steam one, they're own cloths just to properly get it clean from all the milk so yeah that's pretty much it the only thing that's left to say which might be the most important do yourself a favor and get good coffee like go to your local or micro roasters and get some proper coffee um, maybe also that's traceable so you know that they work with the farmers, pay them a fair wage and everything. So like this one, for example, is from Deluxe Cafe in Krems in Austria. Um, it's a Ethiopian natural, super nice, very fruity, kind of full body, sweet, very like. So yeah, get yourself some good coffee. You won't regret it. And yeah, that's it for today. That was our short little must-have video on home espresso machines. I hope you enjoyed it and yeah, drink loads of good coffee and see you next time. Bye! If you like our videos and want to learn more about coffee, um, please support us by hitting the like button and the subscribe button, of course. And also maybe if you have some ideas for future videos or topics that we could talk about, um, just put it down in the comments and let us know. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time.